good morning students i hope by the grace of god you and your family are enjoying good health i am your english language teacher and today i will be delivering my fourth lecture of english language before we start our today's topic here is your answer key of your previous question kindly tell your answers answer key of your previous lecture unit one my family and me vocabulary one exercise one exercise 2 exercise 3 language focus 1 exercise 1 exercise 2 and exercise 3 vocabulary 2 exercise 1 exercise 2 and exercise 3 students let's start our today's topic but before starting it we must have a quick recap of the active and passive voice we have learned in our second lecture active and passive we use active tense when we know and we want to say who did the action we use the passive tense when we don't know or it is not obvious who did the action we also use the passive tense when we want to put the more important noun first we can use by after the verb to say who or what did the action Workbook Chapter One, Language Focus Two, Active Passive, Perfect Tense on page number ten. Question number one: Label the sentence as active or passive. Write A or B. I have already solved this question for you, students. You can see I have written B in front of passive sentence and A for active voice. Question number two: I have also solved this question for you. to get better understanding of the passive voice your question is put the words in the correct order make passive sentence and question you have to make the sentence or the question now question number 3 is your homework complete the text use the active or passive form of the present perfect or past perfect workbook page number 11 language focus review write sentences using the active form of the present perfect or past perfect i have already solved this question for your convenience moving on to our question number 2 in this question you just have to complete the dialogue by using active passive form of the present perfect or past perfect and just already still yet Question number 3 is also your homework choose and circle the correct answer you will going to circle the answer which is correct for you workbook page number 11 i have also solved this questions for you to get better understanding of the questions in question number 4 complete the dialogue use the passive or active form of the present perfect or past perfect Question number 5 is complete the second sentence so it has the same meaning as the first sentence <clears throat> The teacher have selected my brother to play for the school cricket team my brother has been selected by the teacher for the school cricket team Workbook page number 12 This is your written work a family occasion Question number 1 look at the photo what do you think the occasion is you will going to judge the occasion by watching the picture question number 2 read the paragraph of the block then check your answer for exercise 1 now you will going to read the block and judge the answer of your question number 1 question number 3 read the block again answer the questions question number 1 is how many paragraphs are there so you have three paragraphs question number 2 write which paragraph include information about you will going to write about the information which you have in your paragraphs question number 3 underline four general time expressions in the blog post i have already underlined the four general time expressions 
Number four, circle four time expressions that Misha used to order the event. I have already done this for you all. Question number four, think of a special occasion that you celebrated with your family. If possible, find a photo of the occasion. Make the notes about the following questions. Question number one, what was the occasion and why did you celebrate it? Question number two, what happened before the occasion? Question number three, what happened on the, on the day? Four, what are the people doing in the photo? Five, how did you feel before, during and after the celebration? Question number five, write a description of the occasion. Use the blog in exercise two and your notes in exercise 4 to help you. You will going to write a description about that occasion which you want to share with us. Here is the answer key of your language focus 2, exercise 1, exercise 2 and exercise 3. Answer key of language focus review, exercise 1, exercise 2, exercise 3, four and five chapter one is completed moving back to our students book chapter two school days vocabulary one vocabulary one type of schools they have shown you three pictures of different school australia usa hong kong you are going to read this blog and then answer the question Question number one is your oral activity. Question two, three, four is excluded. Question number five is also your oral activity. Chapter two, school days. Reading, book of the month, page 26 and 27. They have shown you an article. Book review. Lucy was gifted student in a new upscale private school. Her parents struggled to make ends meet and she found it difficult to fit it with the girls at her new school. Lucy came from a humble family and her classmates were very rich and unpleasant. She writes about what happened to her in a series of letters to her friend Lynn. You will going to read your article and then answer the questions. Question number one, two is your oral work. You have to solve question number three and question number four on your textbook. Question number five is your homework. You have to solve this question in your neat copies. Homework already mentioned in every slide. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Stay home. Stay safe.